Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this JPEG of this square with these, and they want to know how they could get one. They want to know how they can make this, and two, how do you make it even where they're all equal? Pretty easy. Two different, two at least two different ways. We're going to go ahead and hit P and put it in the center of the page. We're going to go to object and convert it to a curve. And by doing that, we can grab the shape tool and we can add nodes. Now it's going to add nodes on this side, but you can easily delete them. Take those and right click your mouse and turn them into a curve. And then you could manipulate any way you wanted to, to kind of get to that shape. Now, even if you go up here, don't worry about it because we can grab all these and go up to align nodes, line them horizontally and put OK. And then they're all on one line. Then all you have to do, because that's in the center of the page and because it's a square and equal, we can Control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D. Now all you have to do is take the Smart Fill tool. The Smart Fill tool is going to make a new shape. So now you have that shape. It's not exactly like that, but you could get it like that. The other way to do it is just start over. I don't very seldom ever use this tool, but we can go to object and convert it to a curve. We can grab the smear tool, set it on pretty big, click on your item and then smear it. And you know, there's a lot you could do. You can go back to the shape tool and you know move nodes around and get it you know maybe closer to the original uh, the original has a little bit bigger dip in it let's see if we can't uh, make that almost like the original we can move that node in that's pretty close don't forget i would go in and align them align them horizontally and that puts them all on there I'd actually take away that node there. <clears throat> then just do the same thing because it's a square and it's in the center of the page. Control D and rotate it 90 degrees. The, the Smart Fill tool is excellent for doing stuff like this to make a new shape. Then you can left click and right click and you have that shape. Anyway, Hope it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.